Hey, it's Alex with alextucker.ca, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between using www on your website and using a non www domain. So, first of all, what is www? Why do we sometimes have it in front of the domain, and what's the difference? Uh, well, www uh, is actually a subdomain of your domain. Um, so, anytime that you have something else and then a dot and then the name of your domain and then dot com or whatever the ending is. Uh, anytime that you have a period and some other text in front of your domain's name, that's actually a subdomain. Um, so when you build your site on www, uh, you're technically building it on a subdomain of the site and then you're redire redirecting the root domain, also known as the naked domain, to the www version. And if you build your site on the non www version, if you build your site on the root domain or the naked domain, then uh, you'll be redirecting your site from www to the root domain so that if anyone types in www, they won't go to that. They'll just be redirected uh, to your site when they hit enter in their address bar. And the reason that I'm making this video is that uh, I was uh, talking with someone recently via email and I happened to click on the link to their website in their signature and it didn't work. And the reason it didn't work is that they had put the web address including www in and they didn't have the redirect set up from www to uh, the root domain. So anyone who types www.theirdomain.com or anyone who clicks on a link that has www in it won't end up at the website, they'll end up getting a domain error and they'll think that your website either doesn't exist or it's down or something else is wrong and they may not try and visit it again later. Uh, so it's really important that you understand um, which one of those two your website is built on and it's really important that you have the redirection going from one to the other. And uh, it might depend a little bit on how you have your DNS set up. So I'm not gonna go into specifics of how to do this, but basically it's just a very simple uh, DNS setting where you redirect either www to non www or you redirect non www to www. Um, and what are the advantages of using one over the other? Well, there aren't really any. Um, as an SEO specialist, I prefer the root domain or the naked domain without www, but that's just because it makes it a little bit shorter, which in theory uh, is good for SEO, but I, I don't think that having www or not having it really makes a difference for SEO or for anything else. Um, but just aesthetically, I think it looks nicer and we don't really say www anymore. When when the internet was new, people would always say, my website is www.domain.com. They would always say that. And so it made sense to build your site on www. And it may have even been necessary back then. I don't know. I wasn't an internet professional back then. I was a kid. So if you're not sure whether you're using www or not, it's very simple. Just navigate to your website and whichever one is displayed on in the address bar, type in the opposite. So if you go to your website and there's no www in front of it, type in www.yourdomain.com and hit enter and it should automatically just redirect you right back to the root domain. And same thing if your website has www and you type in the root domain without it, then it should redirect back to www. And if it doesn't do that, that means you don't have the redirect set up or you don't have the redirect set up properly. And uh, if you're using something like Cloudflare or another um, CDN, then you would probably be setting your, uh, managing your settings in there. If you're using cPanel for your DNS, then you would be managing your settings in there. And uh, it, it would might, might depend on exactly how you have things set up, but it's, uh, it's a pretty simple process. And if you look at the uh, documentation for your CDN or your web hosting provider, it'll likely be uh, included there. Or if necessary, you can always reach out to your support. Um, or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them for me. Uh, I can, if you give me a little bit of information, I can probably help you work out the right answer. It just really depends on uh, what stack you're using. So if you have any questions, hit me with them in the comments. And if you're thinking about starting a website and you don't have one yet, 
Uh, check out the links in the, in the description. Uh, I've got a affiliate link for my favorite hosting company there, Web Hosting Canada. And I really recommend that you get connected with them if you need hosting for a website. All right, thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.